We've got eight rookies in this post Mike Cortez era for De La Salle. They've lost so many people uh, from last year. We've got Mike Cortez, Santa Maria Wilson, BJ Manalo, can't say because of injury. Yeah. They were second place to Ateneo last year, lost the three game finals. But they won over USC in the final four. And here, I think they're renewing some size here between USC, a team that they're so familiar with. Coach Franz Kamara will be going up against Ari Kasatari. All right. We talk about uh, De La Salle Archers and the team, uh, the players that they lost are not only just the players, major contributors, down uh, Green Archers. Yeah, going to the other side, we go back to last year. We talk about the USC Rowling Tigers entering the final four again, but also missing the service as well, permanently, because of the exodus of the, what they would call the Dunking Duo. Well, yes, USC plays fourth last year and couldn't do it two in a row against the Sal, so they ended up being number four. Wow, you is getting their numbers will be missed, but much more would be the intensity and the overall smart of Cyrus Baguio and Nino Gelling. Yes. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for, for USC other players to be able to come up and deliver and play their actual game minus uh, Baguio and Gelling. You talk about the uh, opportunity for the other players. Well, what was happening, Randy? The returning players, players that have that might step up, players that have matured, we assume, and some of these players, part of them would be Alvin Espiritu and the rest of the gang. Well, Espiritu, top rebounder, juniors uh, MVP, June Cortez will be joining later, uh, Alvin uh, Espiritu. But certainly, I think USC got a great war this year. They have grown up together when Luan Son, Espiritu, Raterta, Vizcara, uh, Hubalde, they'll be working very hard to prove themselves and to coach Arik Del Rosario. I know some people are getting impatient. Uh, if USC, they want to win another. Maybe this is a good year for them. Maybe the combination will start working and flicking for you. As I uh, mentioned, that, and you, that, that maturity factor may just come into play in this year's season. Now, you mentioned this name earlier. Tell me, June Cortez, you've heard a lot about this guy. I saw this guy in 2001. They won over Ateneo. And June Cortez, partner, he can, he can take control. He can take control. He's a very heady point guard for USC, out of USC High School. And I'm sure he's going to deliver for Coach Arik Del Rosario. Well, we'll see that. In minutes, we're going to start the game between the De La Salle University Archers and, of course, the USD Growling Tigers right here on Studio 23. Please stay with us. The starting lineups of the DLSU Green Archers and the USD Growling Tigers. Partner, it's quite interesting that Jay Gapo, a rookie, is starting for Coach Brand Sumarin and Jay Aracino, a former USD club, uh, is also starting for De La Salle. Well... This whole season will be very interesting for the De La Salle Archers when it comes to their lineup. Because of the influx of the rookies and the sophomores, as first one is drawn by the Green Archers. You know, D.Y. Tong probably could be here for T1. No more Mike Cortez to believe. And here he's starting the, the point in the first two points for De La Salle. Tyrone, D.Y. Tong gets the two points on the other side. The white shirts of USD from the outside. Oh, Hano Sala off the glass with a three-point shot. I don't know if that was intended, but certainly count that in for USD as they take the lead early in the ball game. He'll take it. And then point guards uh, wearing number 11 as Mac Mac Arbona shines heaven to the hole. Okay. He started to redeem himself in that final, and now he's the leader, scoring leader for De La Salle. So, Neil, if you get the back for uh, the tap. During the interviews, Macardona said he has to lead this team for obvious reasons. Here comes Tang, surveying the field. Sharma unable to control the lever. And a turnover for the Green Archers as USD looks for their point guard, Gino Manansana. Alvin has been into the veteran, the Growling Tigers. Short on the turnaround, gets it back. Gets the foul on his way to the hole. But Alvin is really somebody really to watch. But Alvin, if he stays in the game for USC, he will really be a positive thing. He has to change the thing from last year. To take a look at this uh, shot, partner. Off the glass, partner. A three-point shot. Lifted the official ice T. Double AP. Off the glass. Off the glass, yes. <laughs> it's a nice way to start for Gino. When I'm sorry, I'm talking about uh, Alvin last year. We've always watched him and you know, predicted that if he stays in the game, mm -hmm. keep himself away from fouls, USC would have a good chance. Now he's turning mature for, for USC. Alvin is pretty 
tough job for uh, the big men of Lasal. Yes, Spirito has always been a team that's a trouble spot for Coach Franz Kumarin. Now you talk about the Spirito and the rest of the big guys of the USC Growly Tigers. Sama Grandi. In the papers, if you read it this morning, they say in terms of advantage of height, Grandi is a Lasal advantage. If you just look at it on paper, but yeah. I, I give it to you. USC's adjustments won't be as much as what Franz Kumarin will be doing in this ball game. Call it eight rookies. Uh, adjustments will really be in order for the top. Sharma goes down to Aquino. This foul on the fadeaway jumper. A couple of early fouls given up here in the ballgame. Oh, now, what you're talking about, the fouls of Alvin Espiritu. Oh, yeah. Number one called on Alvin Espiritu. And free throws awaiting J.R. Aquino of De La Salle. Facelift. Yun ang uh, siguro perfect word yes. para dito sa Green Archers. You talk about the Archers, you go back to last year. A heartbreaker, 13-1 and in the elimination round. They lorded it over USD in the final four. And by the way, may we just note that USD has not beaten the De La Salle Archers in the last 10 meetings of these two teams. As we go straight first, the ating courtside update, courtesy of Hazel Aguilon of PLSU. Hazel. Yes, a couple of things were talked about by the boys during the pre-game huddle. Coach Brent Kumarin told his guys that they have to work on defense. They must put pressure on the ball carrier, contest all passing lanes, and make sure to sprint back on defense, especially for the big men. And for offense, they should have to stick to the system, look for mismatches, and get easy points on fast breaks, but be sure they'll be under control. Most importantly, the boys just need to relax, enjoy the game, and have fun. Back to you, Boom and Randy. Thank you, Hazel. And we're having fun as Gino Barantala drains another three-point shot. And the score is 7-5 with 7.35 to play in the first. Derwin Gakko outside to Cardona. Make that to Sharma. Sharma misses from the 15-foot line. And another outside attempt for USD. As Jamal just got to miss it. Cardona sets up Sharma for the easy lay-in. But I thought the pass came a little early. Sharma's almost accused of uh, traveling, but he put in the point for Lasal. Manansala is fouled by T.Y. Tang. That's a tough matchup for T.Y. Tang. Manansala has proven that he can guard the numbers. Is that the first foul of T.Y.? There's the first personal of T.Y. This is going to be a speedy matchup between Manansala and Tang. Oh, yes. They've got more votes there for, for these two <laughs> point guards for USC and De La Salle. <laughs> I can see Coach Alex berating the referee, asking for the traveling of what we oh, call so Juan Carlos Sharma. Kanina, no? Yes. Inside pass. A little off. Manansala recovers with 15 on the shot clock. They go to the other side. Bread, bread and butter play. It's Piritu escapes and dismantles the defense of Carlos Sharma. Baseline was given. The Piritu is really going to make a mockery of that kind of a defense of Sharma. The getaway gives them the two-point lead at 9-7. to 6.35 to play. Dang. Goes nowhere. Kicks it out to Sharma. Sharma and a pass. Read very well by USC. Here comes Manansala for the getaway. At this point, let's go to Rita Villamore to give us a report on USC. Rita? All right, guys. This season, this high flying Cyrus Baguio as well as Nino Gallic won't be around for the team anymore. This year, the USC is trying to reveal their shattered rate. We'll have to break the South press and play fast with control. The thing is, they have to play together and play as a team. Now, back to you, Boom and Frank. Thank you, Rita. Carlos Sharma is short on the jumper, but an infraction committed by the White Shirts. 11 to 7 in Ati Kalan, with under six minutes remaining in a major, major first quarter. They are witnessing right now the Big Dome USC ahead by four points. We'll be back with more action. Season 66 of the UAAP. Your call of the UAAP. 5.57 to play. Let's see that Milo amazing fast break. One more time and uh, this will be Gino Manansala with the lefty after draining two three-point shots. So you count eight points for Gino Manansala and obviously USP does not have adjustment problems. You know. I want to add just yeah. add this uh, boom. They got coach Don Gregory as assistant now of Alex oh. Rutano and I think that's a major facelift on the side of USP. Powerhouse coaching staff for the USP Crowling Tigers and another turnover by the Green Archers, do we expect, Randy, that there will be a lot of turnovers for this new, pretty 
pretty much do you agree with Archer's team? Well, obviously, yes, I think that's just going to happen. They've already turned the ball over twice, and in a oh. uh, But, see, Aquino wasn't close enough to yeah. even cover the face of Vizcara for that uh, perimeter jumper. Just in the nick of time to give them a six-point lead at 13-7, to seven, approaching the five-minute mark of our first quarter. Cardona makes this move, gets it to go, and a foul. You know, he's the go-to guy now of La Salle. Uh, they're looking for numbers, they're going to look for Magma. Foul given up, Steve Quinn's laying the offing here. <laughs> I can read Cardona saying, hey, come on, man, use your head. <laughs> That's part of his job. Yes. And there's a foul given up by uh, Villamin on the jump by uh, Magma Cardona. Villamin's first personal as Mac Cardona goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play. He is a little bit short on that one, so the lead stands at four, 13 to nine. Vizcara goes to Manansala, and they go to another outside shot. This time, Don Don Villamin connecting. You know, LaSalle's defense can cheat at this point. They gotta sack out and look for the shooters of you. They're getting burned. Cardona. Goes underneath and is fouled by Villamin. That's number two on Villamin. We've heard so much of Gerwin Gaff. Yes, of the South. They say he's a do-it-all guy. And first chance really for us to see him in combination. The kick out to Villamin. Don Don with a three-point shot. Brought to you by Lipton, the official IC of the UAAP. So far, the outside shot of USD finding their mark. Well, we from three point country is three of six. The foul is not attention from beyond the heart. And I think some butterflies in the stomach of Jay Gako as he's trying to feel that hey, the crowd is big here yeah. in Araneta. This is how it is. Don't worry, Jan. So uh, I'm, I'm with you when it comes to that. Give it to free throws. Sir was missing two free throws, and the lead is still seven for the white shirts. 4.28 to play. And the Archers playing catch up. They force a turnover. It's a 4 on 1. And Cartona will go easy yeah. to the rack. You know, Tan now knows exactly what to do with that letter. Last year he was tentative. Here he looked for Mac Mac, the lead is 5 for USC. I did notice Christian Luanson already, already making his way to the hard court for Coach Eric Del Rosario Manansala with 12 seconds out to Christian. Lonson down to Alvin Espirito against Carlos Sharma. Gets a good screen. Comes up short on the jumper. 3.45 to play the lead. is still 5 at 16 to 11. And Tang turning directions for the green shirts. They're looking for Mac Mac. Against Christian, Nakmak goes hard to the rack, off the glass, a little bit short. Well, he was expecting a whistle. He didn't come. Probably really for the solid, who's going to be a spot of shooter for them in offense. And here comes René de Guzman, drawing the foul from Jeff Gaco. Well, using his speed, that's number one on Jeff Gaco. Two team fouls now against La Salle. You can see his three team fouls. Actually, I see that Gaco has two personals already. Oh, I not directed. And staff finest, Cardona, Yo, and Ramos. Ramos, we've not seen the shadow of Ramos on the floor. Yo has been filled in by Coach Fran Sumar, and that's Joseph Yo, unquestionably the most popular fellow on the team for De La Salle. <laughs> if you, you know, open the website, Pinoy Central, you see Joseph Yo. So many questions on Joseph Yo's love life. <laughs> and that's the Rosario also for USD. Coming in. A wild shot, courtesy of Vizcara. And now the Green Archers turn it over again. It also Mark Benitez in the ball game for the first time for De La Salle. You mentioned that he's almost in no decision to one son. Yeah. First time I see him with lots of hair. <laughs> he used it for a very short hair. Yeah, that's right. Hey, he's a good looking chap anyway. Took a year. And on that now, also in the ball game for the white shirt. The one son. The back pass down to Alvin Espiritu. Del Rosario left open, Cardona takes it away from Alvin Espiritu, to make that from Mac Cardona. Yo now, big fine move, but he loses the ball, Sharma recovers. Oh, Sharma getting his first, first uh, four-point pattern for Carmen Sharma, and Nasal is just within three points, so 
think that Chalian is opening the ball game for Lasal. So it will be Chalian against Del Rosario. With a point, Edson, Del Rosario. Out to Vizcana, gets it to goal. That's a very important play for Jim Vizcana. He will use the weak, get that ball from three point country. Yo, a little late there, and you will see it up by six, 19-13. Cardona, approaching the two minute mark. Carlos Sharma has to make a shot like that, unable to do so, and Espiritu gets his fourth rebound of the ballgame. And here comes Del Rosario, inside, but tapped away. Well, Mark Benitez is tapping the ball out, 60 seconds to shoot for the Crowley Tigers, taking control of his ballgame. And at the uh, 156 mark of our first quarter, we have a timeout, USC ahead by 6, 19 to 13. Of the game between USD and DLSU, and you mentioned the Green Archers with a lot of new faces in uh, season 66 of the UAAP. Well, Oliver Kua, PJ Walsh, Mark Benitez, just three of the eight guys, and of course, Joseph Casho and Jay Gago. Casho's been filled in by Coach Franz Marin. So you're looking at three rookies in the lineup of Coach Franz at this point. Ball with the Tigers. Ochanic Del Rosario wants to go down to Christian Luanson. They recover. The Malvesana trying to triple out of trouble. And a foul is called with one second remaining on the shot clock. Call it a poor foul given up by Joseph Castro. Just give USC another look at the basket. Time running down. And, uh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. That's what I was about to say. It was tempted. The ball was shown to him by. Uh, uh, Viscara. Well, you know, the greenhorns that we showed earlier, they do have to pay their dues. <laughs> well, they're very Along green. The way. They're very green and kind of wet behind the ears, too, man. Coach Franz Pomaran is hoping that they learn quickly in this tournament. Yeah. And mature faster than anybody else. Pomaran is now in the ball game for USD. Don Son goes back out to Danny Pomaran. They go out to Del Rosario, partially blocked. Manny Ramos already in the ballgame for the green shirt. We have a three on one, but a foul is called on Edsel Del Rosario. First foul for Edsel Del Rosario. Only the 14th foul against USC. Otherwise known as Stel. Yes. Stel Del Rosario following Joseph Kasha right there. Well, Joseph Kasha is a hot shot from San Beda. Yeah. Played in the NCAA. This guy's a shooter. Oh, yes. And we have uh, yet to see that in this ball game. He got the ball right now. Manny Ramos playing the outside. Hands it over to Gachalian. Gachalian sees an opening and is fouled before the traveling infraction was called. Well, still bumps uh, Gachalian with his move to the basket. The second foul, two quick fouls given up by Del Rosario. And chance here for Tim Gachalian to be on TV. <laughs> Free throw lines waiting, and Coach Franz, he looks kind of calm today. Uh, now worried a bit, so they're down. 19 to 13. You know, you, you mentioned that, Randy, and that plays a big role in the maturity, or at least, you know, in, in, in the battling of the nerves in a ball game. You know you're on national TV, you know you're in front of a huge crowd at the big don't know less. And you're at the free throw line, you are feeling so small at the very oh, moment. Oh, yes, no question about it. You know, some notes here on the Tim Gatsalian. Well, he was started as a Baldevin. Well, okay. Baldevin comes from USC. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Gatsalian with two free throws, cutting the lead down to four at 19 to 15, under one minute to play in the first quarter. Knees on, comes into the ballgame for USC. Oh, nice pass. Underneath, unable. Well, the was blocked. Four seconds for USC to throw up a shot. What a play by Del Rosario as Franz Pumaren on your screens has not, well, Franz Pumaren and the rest of the archers has not lost an opening day game in what, 15 years? Since 1987. That's a long time. That is a long time. Pumaren with two seconds. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Four, four, I think, by our unofficial count, it is four. And the lead is seven once again. Ubalde, Housing, Joseph Casio. Gatsalian against Del Rosario. 
and oh. a by Dell. So three fouls on Del Rosario. <laughs> when Antala is not going to stay long on the bench of uh, USC, he's set to replace Del Rosario. But Del is just reading into the map. This is the quick step has really taken Del Rosario by surprise. And look at this shot by Derek Ubalde in the face of the Archer defense, getting it to go from downtown and giving them a seven-point lead. Just in the nick of time at that, as Gatsalian refused his relationship with the free throw line. Showing no signs of rookie jitter ah. in the free throw line for uh, David Gatsalian. The crowd and the side of the archers, what do you see on screen? Tim Gatsalian, four out of four, and four points for the point guard of the archers. Two deep on, issuing a bad pass, and Manny Ramos stamping it out. 17.4 seconds remaining, and a five-point lead by the Crowley Tigers from Espana. Luan Son will do the honors. Nino Manantana back in the ballgame. That's Del. Del Rosario already in foul trouble. Luan Son wanting to post up Joseph Gil for the longest time, Randy. Finally gets a chance. Does it? and just makes the turnaround jumper to end the first quarter. What a game for the Tigers in this first quarter. Hot shooting has been the story as we look at this again. Supposedly that you were talking about that the one zone just won't ring the bell for you. And gives them a seven-point lead at 24-17. That is the end of the first quarter. We'll be back with second quarter action right here at the Big Dome. This is season 66 of your UAAP. Mobile chat rooms are open 24 7. Text UAAP chat to 2366 and chat non stop while the hottest and most provoking UAAP topics with your fellow fans. It's the UAA Beats Virtual Sports Bar. Text UAAP chat to 2366. This is made possible by Minoy Central, the exclusive mobile content provider for UAA Beats Season 66 and is open to all group and such mobile subscribers. Back to the game. Here at the Big Dome, my name is Boob Gonzalez, this is Professor Randy Santana, and what did we see in the first 10 minutes? Well, a lot of three-point shots from USC. They lived through it. Nine attempts to the three-point country, making five of them. That has been the difference in the first period. USC's outside shooting. The rest were simply in favor of USC. Rebounds, assists, even turnovers. The South just came back to the free throw line. Let's take a look at Coach Arik and Rosario. What else to do to this point? Speaking of turnovers, another one for the Archers giving the ball back to the Crowley Tigers. Box play right there by USC. And Gatsalian goes down to Ramos. Ramos with the spin. Bottled up. Gets oh, it to go. Regardless of the defense. Not a good shot, but it's a snake, so it's, a, it's an okay thing for Manny Ramos. <laughs> Gino Manazzala now, as the Tigers trying to protect the three-point lead here in the second quarter. Valde, out to the point guard. Gino, inside, underneath, and a foul is called as Raterta trying to make the reverse layup. Raterta will go to the free throw line. Manazzala is making things happen for you. You know, he's trying to move his way around the... Defense keep on adjusting to the position of Manansala and just waiting for that good cut. Raterta was the cutter. He was fouled. He's got two free throws for his name. Raterta, the lefty. Hometown. Ilongo. Ilongo. He's from Iloilo. As you look at the rest of the guys here at the U.S. deep bench, they are in the lead by 3. 24-21 with 840 to play in the second quarter. That's also one of those guys the boys to carry this team this year. Yes. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. speed. You know, that was a first. Oh. My mistake, that was Joseph Casio. What an explosion there yeah. by Casio. Get away by Casio as Ubalde tries to answer. Ubalde from the outside, a little long. The tap will go to Joseph Yo. And the archers now down only by one. 24-23. Joseph Yo, oh. the floater is blocked by Ubalde. Mark Benitez, underneath. Oh, oh, oh. I like that drop step move by Mark Benitez. Deep in the baseline. Oh! oh. As Gatsalian snatches that, snatches the ball away. Manny Ramos making it happen for the archers. 
And they reset with 16 seconds. Mark Benitez against Traterta. The hook shot this time. And let's see, the white shirt's getting the ball this time. Manantala looking ahead. 7.35 to play in the second quarter, and the Leafs swinging to the LSU. Let's go to Rita Villamore for USD for this court side update. All right, guys. The team will have to retain their players who are smaller and test them to their The thing is, they have to spread their spots to everyone. After each turnover, they have to make a sprint and locate. So back to you, Boomin, friends. Sprint and locate, says Rita. Well, they are really worried about the consistency of Nassau coming to court here in the second period. Another three-point shot brings down. Ubaldi trained another one earlier on to get the lead back at 27-25 under seven minutes remaining. And perimeter points, Randy. It's 22-0 for USD. As Raterta attacks, nothing there. Gachalian going to his left, loses the ball. Not a wise decision by Gatsavian, by Tim Gatsavian. Upalte, another long <laughs> ball, and he gets it all right. What do they have for breakfast? Two three-point shots by Upalte here in a long period. And a long two, and eight points of balance. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen him play this way for a long time. And it's about time, I guess, Coach Alec Del Rosario say. 29-25 is our score. And approaching the six-minute mark as Christian Luanson commits the personal. At the first one, Luanson. And a three-man substitution for USD. And Alvin Espiritu goes back. Don Don Villamil also sent back. As we look at this, Jericho Balde off-balance, fade away shot. I don't know how to describe it, Randy. You know, they... LaSalle is so aware of Cobalde shooting, but it's just impeccable shooting that we're seeing right now, from yeah. Derek Cobalde. So that's 24th perimeter point for USD. Joseph Yo, the floater. Yes. Well, he likes it that way. He likes it that way. Don't get him off the screen. He's going to burn you with that kind of a shot. Cobalde deep in the corner, under six minutes remaining. And the lead is down to two for the White Shirts. It's Pinitu, baggy body, kicks it out to Obande for another three. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! He can't miss, folks. He can't miss. Derek Obande sends that baby home plus the foul. What kind of shooting Derek Obande is showing at this ball game? 11 points. You know, you can't fault the defense. It's there all the way, but he's just, he just making them. Here's a three-point ball brought to you by Lipton, the official ID of the UAAB. The lead is 5 at 32, 27. We have this timeout. We will be back with more action here at the Big Dome. Back here at the Big Dome for more action. It's season 66 of the UAAB, and we have got to see that again. It's been into finding Derek Ubalde and Ubalde. And Joseph Yo in his face. It looks like he just threw it up. Mm -hmm. But the guy's hot. And you can't you can't argue with that. Well, 7 of 12, <laughs> three point shots for you is 58%. That is remarkable. You make 21 points on three point country in a rare four point play in the offing here for Derek Obaldi. USC leads the South 32 27. Completed for the four point play. Uh, the LSU has thrown only one three-point shot and did not make it earlier. And now they are behind by six as Yo cans a three-pointer. This time he makes it. Well, he heard you. But, you know, there was no rebounder. He took his chances, buried it for LaSalle. William is bringing the ball down. Gives it up. It's Gino Manantala. Manantala loses the ball. And the archers on the run. Joseph Yo. Oh, and the pass. It was too deep, was too coming deep. from Cachalian. The familiar, familiarity factor, Randy, coming into play in, this, uh, in, in, in an instance like that. Well, the rookie just responding quickly. Joseph asked for the ball, he gave it. He could have taken the ball a little slower, probably take it strong, but, you know, that's a mistake. They are adjusting the green archers. And they will all learn from that as we come on the five-minute mark of the second quarter. The lead is still three for the Growling Tigers. We have been down to Alwyn. Alwyn to spin and it's denied by Matty Ramos as he takes the baby away. Gachalian. Oh, another miscue. Well, he was thinking 
the June June Kabato would be speaking down home. France Greek and recognized I am that's the the Pumarit. It's a family affair for the Pumarit. And they're so always the they're always yes. there in support. From mommy to Manung Pilo and, and you know Derek Sear. He would be uh, on the sidelines too. And he witnessed back to back turnovers by Tim Gachalian. Max Cardona back in the ball game. Mark Benitez and Tim Gachalian sits down as we send it over to Hazel Aguilon for this DLSU coach side update. Yes, during the last four huddles of the DLSU Green Archer, Coach Frank Kumarin told the boys they need to be more aggressive. They cannot afford to be passive against this USC squad. Also, Coach Kumarin told the boys they are running away from their place. They need to be under control and they need to make the extra pass. Back to you, Boom and Randy. Thank you, Hazel. You know, regardless of what's happening, the hot shooting of UST, the sun is only down by three, right? <laughs> yes, and uh, well, that's going to be alarming for Coach Ali. I'm sure. Yeah, if he's going to say that come halftime, that, hey, we were shooting 58%, we're only up three points at this point, so, you know, there's something wrong working. The D.Y. Tire trying to leave this fast break goes out to Yo. Yo, set to go. Hey, Xavier Guard on duty for De La Paz. Eight points by the Ninja. And now we are tied at 33 with four sets remaining in the first half. Look at the pressure the T1 gave Gino Manantala. There was tentativeness in the pass of Alvin Espirito. Gino wasn't expecting it. Let's look at this fast break again. It came out as a secondary fast oh, break yeah. already, Randy. It was a secondary break, and there's a fast. Sam was really looking for uh, his buddy, Joseph. <laughs> uh, Joseph. Trading the triple. Here's another one. DLSU short on that triple. That's Manantala with the offensive rebound or the defensive rebound. Piscata floats and it's fouled. Uh, that's a foul given up by Jun Jutsubak. He was not in a very good position. He wasn't really there and just waiting for Piscata to lay up. First one when uh, Jun Jun Tabaku, only the third team foul for La Salle. USC has collected only a team foul here in the second period. 3 and 43 remaining in the period. What does that tell us, Randy? Well, they're, they're watching. Anything, oh, they're anything. watching the defense. They're watching the offense in the south. Maybe Coach Adams will tell him, come on, you can use up your fouls, some intensity defensively. You're not just going to look at them and okay. work out on their offense. They can use some fouls. For La Salle, just the same. Three team fouls for De La Salle. Vizcara, he's a hot shot out of Adams in high school. And now he's playing for USC. Vizcara. Gives them a two-point lead at 35-33 at the 3.40 mark of this first half. EY Tang. And the attack zone goes all the way, but comes up a bit short. But Antala now trying to dribble out of trouble. Goes to William in. Just a three-point shot. That was a quick set. That was a quick set. I don't think he's really going to pass. When he received that ball, he was so sure he's going to take that shot. Not but William in. Randy, two three point shots in his ball game, has six points. Kabatu comes up on short once again. And shocking for position, there will be a foul called on Manny Ramos. That's number one on Manny Ramos. And that's the 14th foul for De La Salle. So it continues. The three point shooting has continued for you. Talking about that, William in sets up, aims, and sends it home. And gives them a five-point lead, 38-33, as we approach the three-minute mark of the second quarter. A lot of people doing the damage for USC here in the first half. And there was Abad there, there's Julia Bin. And now Manansala and the rest of the gang trying to pound on this five-point lead. Under three minutes to play, it's fit to with eight seconds on the shot clock. They go out to Manansala, swings it over to Julia Bin. A little long. Espiritu goes up. And up. You would be surprised. There was no boxing out from the top. It means that Espiritu put it back in. And now with Espiritu doing the right thing, not going down anymore, just sending it over. And gives them a seven-point lead. We'll be back here at the Big Dome. Back here at the Big Dome for the resumption of the game between USD and DLSU. And you're looking at Carolyn Ching. She is our Sun Silk Campus Beauty of the Game with her beautiful Sun Silky hair. Things will surely get even better and better for her. 19 years old from the De La Salle University. And there are a lot of beauties here at the Big Dome. And you're watching us over Studio 23, the game between La Salle and USD. And USD ahead by 7 after a 7-0 blast by the Growling Tigers. 
Kabatu has missed two outside shots and committed another inf uh, infraction in this play. Well, he didn't start right for, for LaSalle. They had the momentum, he took those three-point shots, they missed, and now he turned the ball over. I think it's the biggest lead of USC. Oh! Joseph Yo reading the pass perfectly. He's in double digits. Ten points for Joseph Yo. You know, prior to the start of season 66, Coach Franz Pumar had said that this is, to him, his best pressing team ever since he started coaching at the LSU. He could be right. The boys that can prove it right, they're the youngest, I think, four of uh, exactly. out for Coach Franz in years. Manansala trying to maintain composure of this whole team as Alwyn uses the baseline. Gets trapped and what a pass to Rene de Guzman, who recovers just in time. Nifty pass there. It's composure. USC coming back with two points. Back to a seven point lead for the Tigers. Under two minutes remaining. A fake, and then that trademark shot of Mac Macadona has been quiet here. Yes, he couldn't get his teardrop shots going for him. Yes. USC sets the table with 15 on the shot clock. It was fun. Underneath goes to the Oh! He could not be prevented. He is so focused. And they're just getting away with murder here. Wow! What a shot going to the other side and giving them Another seven point lead, make that nine at 44 35. That's going to be a lost ball. Lasalle is not executing properly. That's not supposed to be the entry pass for Carlos Sharma. It's supposed to go to the other way around from the swing position that's going to the post. We got to take a look at this pass by Espiritu as Veneta Guzman recovers just in time. That was a, a play earlier on, and this time, I think. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, that's right. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. Back to back hits. This one a little tougher than the first one. Well, you're seeing gaping holes in the defense of LaSalle. They're not really closing out inside penetrations of USC. Don't go Villamin acting like a point guard. Brings the ball down. Traveling. Committed. Pretty cold up the fence. Danilo Fridas of USC. A minute and a second remaining. It's been all USC that we've been watching yes. from here in the first half. The Archers have been playing catch-up. Well, they tied the game at 33 earlier on, but then that 7-0 blast by USD on triples by the Growling Tigers have given them this breathing room that they have right now as Cardona will have to earn his two points from the line. So that has been the issue against the South so far. If they cannot run their play, they go for a one-on-one -on -one play. Mac Macadona sets out third foul on Gondon Villamin. Tough time for him to be covering Macadona. So Billy Amin and uh, Del Rosario, I believe. Uh, yes. Three personal fouls now for Coach Eric Del Rosario. So LaSalle is led by two veterans. Yo with 10 points, Cardona with seven. Sharma puts it back. Cuts the lead down to six, 44, 38. Approaching the 42nd mark of the first half. Danny Britas. They go to Villamin and a foul underneath Carlos Sharma and Alvin Espiritu in a wrestling match. No love lost. Look at them talk to each other. <laughs> oh, Sharma is never the shy type. Huh? I don't think so. He's never been shy. Never mind the SH. It's not going to be shy for Carlos. <laughs> and Alvin just the same, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, these two guys. Uh, Alvin has been playing since the juniors and he has, you know, carved a name for himself here the USD since his juniors uh, playing days and now the seniors and he is one of the veterans of USD so I'm sure he's not going to back down from any not from anyone talking challenge from anyone either <laughs> which makes it all the more beautiful here the UAAB as he gives them a little more breathing room an 8 point lead at the 32.3 second mark and USD now showing a little press but the archers breaking it P.Y. Tang, trying to maintain control of the ball, sends it out to Joseph Casio. Casio with a looper, wild shot, and Tang recovers. Eight seconds on the shot clock, Tang oh. sets up Mark Cardona. What a play. And the ball will remain with the archers. 
So USD losing a little composure, losing a little focus into the, the dying seconds of the first half. Oh, just seven seconds. This could be an opportunity for LaSalle now. USC, they need to hold up this to be able to keep that momentum that they have earned throughout the first half. They have fouls to give, oh, yes. I believe. I believe, Randy. Two team fouls only committed by USC. They can give up two more. So, it might be wise to do so. Castro. No foul committed. Four seconds remaining. The ball will remain with the green shorts. Joseph Castro. He white down with the inbound to Cardona. Takes the three, attacks, uses the glass, and that's a wild shot. And at the end of the first 20 minutes of the second game here at the opening day of season 66, USD is ahead 46-40 as we look at some highlights for the first half. And René de Guzman against three green archers, giving them the lead here at the end of the first half. We'll be back with our halftime festivities here at the Big Dome. You are watching us on Studio 23. Score is 46-40 after 
pulling away by nine points, uh, USD, that is. The Archers making a last-ditch uh, comeback towards the Tigers against the De La Salle Green Archers. Boom Gonzalez together with the professor, Randy Saktalan. We're here at the Big Dome, and you're watching us live over Studio 23. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. And uh, the Tigers, very aggressive, off the halftime buzzer. Well, the charm was called for the foul as the Spiritu was uh, isolated well in that play, though he missed his first free throw. Well, he has kept himself away from foul trouble, as we just guess. You know, he's going to be a major force for USC come the stretch. The six point lead still for the USC Growling Tigers. And as you said, that is very essential to the campaign, especially for this game for USC, that Alvin is fitted to stay away from those sticky-tacky fouls as he gives them a seven-point lead. 47-40. Jack Gakko back for the Archers together with T.Y. Tang, Joseph Cascio, Carlos Sharma, and Mac Cardona. The five for Coach Franz Pumarin. Gakko. Sharma asking for the ball. Here comes Cardona. Trying to extricate, throws up a prayer and it's answered. And maybe he's not trying too hard, but uh, there was an opportunity for him to go one and one. Oh, nice recovery by the archers. Cardona will go back to back on a oh. set up job by Joseph Casio. Here's another one. You know, USD is falling into the nightmare trap of De La Salle. That's why the turnovers are pouring in. Here in the third, it's just a three-point lead, and La Salle has possession. Is this what Archer's basketball is all about? Oh, yes. That's what well, we've, said. we've seen this since 2000. It's the press that they've lived through. And the Archers, this time on the offensive, go out to Carlos Sharma, rattling out the jumper. And Christian Luanzo says, enough is enough. Gino Manansala is also in the ballgame with Jamal Vescara and a missed shot by the Tigers. Alvin Espiritu, together with René de Guzman, as Cardona floats, nothing there, and a tap going to Christian Luanzon. Casio, though, breaking up the play. Joseph Casio goes out to T.Y. Tang. They're trying to recover. 19 on the shot clock. No need to rush. But Cardona, thinking three, comes up short. And Luanzon again with another rebound. That is his third on the ballgame. Luanzon against Mac Macardona. They go down to Alvin Espiritu. Shows the jumper, but draws a little closer and bangs bodies and gets him to go from underneath. You know, Sharma allowed Espiritu just to dribble his way and force him. He didn't force him out really and make a very decent approach to his defensive stance. And he gave him the baseline. Too. That's perfectly uh, the description for that thing. That's what he wanted in the first place. And the lead is 5 at 49 44, a foul minute. And Christian Luanzon, as you look at Coach Eric Del Rosario, that is the second personal on Christian. 7.40 to play in the third. And a five-point lead by USD, who have not beaten the Green Archers in 10 consecutive tries so far. You know, some, some point of history here. Casal has not lost an opening day game since 1987. They've been in the final for the last nine years. That's right. For De La Salle. And Coach Barron has never played for third place since he started coaching for De La Salle. Well, this is a new year for him. And uh, he's just trying to keep a tradition for Coach Eric Del Rosario for you. It's sake. Well, it's been a long time since he's been in the final. And that's 99 since they were in the final. And the last championship was 95 for them. That's right, 1995. They made it back to the final four last year. They want to duplicate that speed this year and maybe go to the next level. But there's going to be major, major competition from all the schools as we saw at the oh, first oh, game. No what doubt, game. no doubt. And you won over UP. But you know that the level of competition has gone several notches higher this year in the 66th season of the UAAP. Most definitely. Sharma, a soft pass. And play broken up, but they recover as Casio gets the ball back. Goes out to T.Y. Tang for the jumper. Gets it to go. Tang with his fourth point of the ball game to the delight of the Green Archers fans. Oh, but Sharma picks up a loose ball foul Oy. after that shot made by uh, T.Y. Tang. <laughs> Mac Cardona wanting to join the <laughs> USC huddle. 
Hey, good night, Joy. <laughs> Let's look at that play again, Randy. Garcia was trying to deliver it. Saw T.Y. That could have been an offensive foul, but T.Y. showing a lot of improvement and confidence in that shot of it. And the lead is only three. 49-46. The pressure's on again. The watch is on. In their attack zone. Manansala wants to go down to Espiritu. A little bad spacing for USD at the moment. But Espiritu gets the ball down the left. Seven on the shot clock. Goes inside. Pass. Broke it up. And here comes Cardona. Goes back to pass. Pass back to ball. Oh, yes! Picture perfect play. You know, time just knows knew that Cardona was there waiting for him. One point lead now for USC. Oh! What's them? He was them. Yeah. Cardona. He was tempted to get that hand into the cookie jar. And he was caught by the referee. Let's see that final amazing fast break one more time. Tang sends it over to Cardona. And Cardona sends that baby home. And cuts the lead down to one at 49-48. 6.45 to play. Bubaz is back in the ball game. He has the hot hand for the white shirts. Espiritu. Ramos giving him the baseline. A triple team on Espiritu. And play broken up. But Piscara recovering. Espiritu settles down the troops. Three seconds of the shot clock. Manansala lets it fly. Rattles out. And the ball finally ending up at Manny Ramos's hands. Two rebounds for Manny. Check Gaglo, the spin and the foul on the move. You know, no hesitation that play. They saw it coming. He has an advantage over Vizcara. Espiritu tried to help out. That's number two. <laughs> it's the things that you don't see on the TV screens that it's really interesting as you look at this move again by Jack Gakko. In order, you're getting some fun watching Mark Cardona talk to his teammates. <laughs> I guess that's the way things are now. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, you talk up close. I guess it's the noise in the big dome. You know, Gago is having some problems at the free throw area. And the field goals in the third period, the Salas made 4 of 7, USC 1 of 3. What's amazing is only three shots made so far by USC from so, the field. At the start of the third, the tables have turned. Mm -hmm. Approaching the six-minute mark of this third quarter. And a solitary point. Separating the two teams. Espiritu with his own version of a spin. Manantala. Humande. Humande comes closer. Tap from behind. And the ball will go to the Archers once again. To the delight of the Green Archers fans here in the Big Dome. 5.49 to play. More action on the UAAP on Studio 23 when we return. Bevy of beauties here at the the Araneta Coliseum. Hey, that's me there. And our Camiseta Campus Girl of the Game, Miss Kat Walken, 21 years old from USC. She is our Camiseta Campus Girl of the Game. Be spotted at, at the next Campus Girl of the Game and bring home cool prizes from Camiseta. Camiseta, it's fun being a girl as the archers take the lead for the first time in the second half and try to take the ball away too. You know, Nassal has just said that made the adjustments here in the third period, boom. They know now how to press it properly. Gakko, his confidence could be rising. And, you know, I expect the pace to come in. And that's the pressing defense of Lasal to really come in full force here. They have not, they have taken the lead 50-49. And again, going back to the halftime report that, that Hazel gave us, I want to see Archer's basketball. That's what Coach Frank Bobat had said. And in the process, they have taken the lead at 50-49 at the 5-15 mark of the third quarter. Gino Manansala down to Espiritu, outside to Jamal Vescara. And the shots are not falling for USC in the third. Cardona, all alone, looks at Manansala at the same time. And USC losing a little focus, Randy. Oh, yeah, the defense of La Salle. Really hitting its stride. Send it over to the other side. Who pulls it? It's the corner. It's the only fourth home corner on this guy. And he just tied the ball game. 52. Cool. Very cool. And his hands very hot. That's Derek Ubalde. 15 points in the ball game for Derek Ubalde. Picked up where he left off in the first half. Castro 
pull-up jumper. A little strong. And Obaze is ahead of the pack. And he will go all the way. Uh, it's just a mistake of LaSalle. They did come back well in defense. The ball was hit by USC. And Hupalde, Mr. Hupalde, you know, is just hot. Derek Very hot. Has, Derek has got a different bounce this year. Uh -huh. You know this? He got a different bounce to his game this year. Very confident. That's Cardona knocks down a 15-footer for his 19 points of the ball game, Randy. I didn't even notice that Cardona <laughs> scattered 19 points already. So 10 points here in the third for Matt. As we look at this uh, three-point shot brought to us by Lipton, the official ID of the UAAB, Derek Ovalde, trading another one. Well, it's still a three-point country. Three-point shot that has bailed USC out of the, of the cudgels of uh, LaSalle here in the ball game. So let's see if it's going to continue for La uh, USC. See if they're going to die with that, huh? Duanson shaking up the play. 12 on the shot clock as Espiritu continues to work against Ramos. Send it out to Jamal. Jamal rolls out the three-point shot. And we're still tied at 54. T.Y. Tang surveying the field. Castro back to the point guard. Cardona. And the spin. Short on the hook shot. Gets the ball back. Sends it up and in. No. Rims out. And the archers recover. Cardona again. Sets up Gabo. Gabo. Tumani Ramos, what play, what passing by the archers. Yeah, we've talked about the extra pass. Lasalle is looking for that higher percentage shot in that play. The one zone, is that number four of the guy? Is that number four? There's a foul given up by, uh, yes, it's the one zone. On Manny Ramos, he was the last line of defense. Tough luck for uh, Christian. It's the third. Third on the one zone as we send it over to Rina Villamor. And the courtside update on USC, Arena. All right, guys, this is really a tight game for the Tigers as well as for the Archers. The team must stay on their position. The thing is they have to minimize, minimize their turnovers as well as their unnecessary fouls. They have to make their moves fast to catch up with the Archers. Thank you, Arena. Well, it cannot get, cannot get tighter than that. 54 all coming up on the three-minute mark as Manny Ramos misfires from the free throw line. Short on two attempts. And the one son again with his fifth rebound of the game. Gino Manansala calling the play against Joseph Casio. And they go down to their bread and butter man. Now with the spirit to where everything emanates. Viscata, top of the circle, gets it to go! They want to look for numbers, they look for the kick out, the top of the key, Viscata responding. Castro pulls up, nothing there, maybe not the shot that goes back to Mar and Wanted. Ubalde, banging bodies, gets the two points. So returning the compliment, going in transition, USC. So USC is able really to fend off the attack of the foul here in the third. That has been the story. 59-54 with 2.20 remaining in a foul on Manansala. Tim Gatsalian comes back into the ballgame. Well, only the 13th foul for USC. 2.19 to play in the third. A wild third, and Ubalde has been the man for USC. He gives him a five-point lead, and we'll be back with more action here on Studio 23 for Season 66 of the UAAP. Between USD and DLSU. And it's now time for a close up, cool some, two some. Anne and Nicola Espina, mother and daughter, uh, Randy, the school of uh, Nicola is DLSU. Seven, well, 17 years old, see Nicola. Computer science is what she's taken up. The cool some, two some, brought to you by Close Up, closing the gap with Close Up. Yeah, that's a tough course in the Salle. Calm side. She looks like a tough girl, too. <laughs> And a short jumper by Jack Gakko to bridge the gap. 59-56, coming up on the two-minute mark of this third quarter. Viscata wants to go all the way and dismantles Matt Cardona's defense. You know, they're attacking the press of La Salle. USC coming in prepared, looking to attack. Edsel Del Rosario back in the ball game for USC. Cardona misses the three-point shot. 140 to play.
And the Tigers are ahead by five at 61-56. Luanson getting the ball with 10 seconds remaining. A one and four play. Luanson trying to extricate, goes out. And probably a traveling infraction called on Vizcara. Jair Aquino replaces Macadona, and Mark Benitez will come in to replace Jay Gapo on the side of De La Salle. You know, La Salle had their opportunities to take the lead, but missed free throws by Mati Ramos and Derek Ubalde. He's a key man, really, for you, as you pointed out, who here in the third period. They have a five point lead over the yard. Randy, tell me about the shuffling of Ben's both coaches. What do you see? Look now at the players who can consistently play for them here in the third period. You know, as usual, La Salle will be bringing in the players who settled and made them more, particularly Benitez, Getzelian, and uh, Hasho and the rookies. Well, on the side of USC, well, at this point, they're resting Alvin is from the side to rest the big man. Alvin is going to stay on the floor for USC. Coming up on the one minute mark, and USC protecting a five point lead as Dondon Villamin comes back in the ballgame, replacing Jamal Vizcara. Alvin is still into now. The inside pass and a miscue between Espiritu and Villamin, or uh, was it uh, Cel del Rosario? Well, that's... For like a couple of plays, barring any hits, Cel del Rosario enters the attack zone, and the lead is still five. We have been begged at this score, Randy, for a little long, a little longer now, 61-56. One son with eight on the shot clock. Trapped in the corner. Espiritu sends it up. And in! In a clutch basket there for Alvin Espiritu. Eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. And the archers trailing by eight. Joseph Yo with two seconds. Gets it up. And in! Sends that baby home. Pass the buzzer. And there you go. 30 minutes of UAAB action. We see USD still ahead. 64. The De La Salle University's 59. We'll be back with fourth quarter action. You're watching the UAAB on Studio 23. You're watching us live over Studio 23 and the opening day of season 66. Here at the Big Dome, Boom Gonzalez, together with the professor Randy Sabdalan in a game between DLSU and USD. And Stel Del Rosario committing his fourth personal at the first four seconds of the fourth quarter. And I was looking at the number of the quarter. Despite making nine turnovers and giving up seven points off the turnover, USD has kept the lead and just lost the ball is Nazal. Speaking of turnovers, Ubalde, top three. Off the back iron, Ramos recovers. You know, the story so far here in the first three quarters of this game, Randy, correct me if I'm wrong, is that USD will bat onto a lead. The archers try to come back with USD so far having all the answers and keeping the archers at bay. As we look at this uh, Rexona defensive play and uh, Michelle Del Rosario taking it away. Rexona, it won't let you down. So far, they have all the answers so far. In this game, Luan Son going to Espiritu. He sends it out to Don Don Villamil. Luan Son, I am up to three. A bit short, then Joseph Yo plucks down the rebound. Nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, and the lead is still five for USD. Yo goes nowhere, sends it out to Tim. Inside, Benitez with a short hook. An unproductive offensive for both teams so far in the first minute of the fourth quarter. Espiritu thought about it and commits the traveling infraction. 8.45 to play, 64.59. Checking the lineup. J.R. Aquino, T.Y. Tan, Manny Ramos, Mark Benitez, and Joseph Yo for the Archers. My partner is missing. <laughs> trying to work on uh, there you go well I'll be back with Brandy in a bit in the meantime another play broken up but the archers will retain possession as Christian the one son pumping and pumping has been playing all throughout this second half 
back now, looking for the ninja. Yo, fades away. Nothing there. And Manny Ramos picks up the garbage and turns it into gold and cuts the lead down to three at 64 61. And this time, USC turning the ball over again, so giving the archers another chance to catch up. The lead is only three, and we're coming up to the eight minute mark on the fourth quarter. Joseph Hill pops out against Don Don Villamin. Uses the Mark Benitez roadblock. Sends it up and in. A lifted IC three point shot courtesy of the Ninja. Oh, are you back? <laughs> Thank you very much, Randy. I missed you. No, I didn't go to the bathroom. I was looking over the numbers of Joseph Yo. Yes. And already four three point shots for Joseph. And this game is tied once again, Randy. As J.R. Aquino goes up and it's denied oh, by Jamal yeah. Vizcara. What a block by Jamal Vizcara. Sends it home, sends it back to earth. You know, Aquino was very tentative. He was left alone and here he is, Vizcara just waiting for him. There's a big oh. block. And Arexona, defensive play, Arexona, it won't let you down. And this is a part of the game, Randy, where we're going to watch whether USD can still hold off the archers attack. They are tied right now. T.Y. Tang, short of the three. Oh! Oh! Hard foul by Manny Ramos on Ubalde. Uh, Not intentional, of no, course. No, he was after the ball, and it so happened that the face of Ubalde was right there. Third foul of Manny Ramos, but that is tough. That is tough. Yes. Derek Ubalde, made of stern stuff, picks him up, picks himself up right away. Good thing it didn't happen to us. <laughs> nah, I don't think I want that. <laughs> we could have stayed on the floor longer than that. You know, but LaSalle able to knock, put in a 64 old deadlock against USC. This time you were looking for answers. USC needs a big basket here to pull things off. Oh! And Joseph Castro saves the ball. Three on two. T.Y. Tan all the way! Oh, oh, oh. And T.Y. is playing so comfortable in this ball game. And the lead is now with the archers. They go spot bottled up. Now the Growling Tigers retain possession. But now the archers in the lead, 66-64. And Coach Adic Del Rosario didn't like this Milo fast break play. And see that Milo amazing fast break one more time. T.Y. Tang. And the game has got six points. They go out. Another three-point shot. Nothing there this time. Ball tap. Going to win a spirit to a foul called on Joseph Cascio. Well, Cascio, wrong place at the time. Trying to receive that leather. That is only foul number one. But number two on Joseph and shooting foul against La Salle. That's Jack Gacko. Sherwin Gacko replacing Manny, Manny Ramos okay. at the 646 mark of this ballgame. Lasal is playing with two rookies for the front line, Benitez and Gapo. Six and 46 remaining, they have a two-point lead. A lot of questions about the lineup of the DLSU Green Archers coming into season 66. Well, so far we're getting some of those answers right now. Espiritu escapes, but doesn't get it to go. Loses the ball, and the Archers recover. T.Y. Tang looking for Yo. Yo thought about it. 17 on the shot clock of the Archers. Benitez on a fast pass to the back of Piscata. You can say that again. Upaza. Oh, play broken up by Joseph Yo. And here comes the Archers. Tag to Casio. Casio. Oh, -ho! they were waiting for it. Now, make no mistake about it. This guy can shoot. Joseph Casio gives, gives the Archers a four-point lead at 69. Make that five-point lead at 69-64. And I can barely hear what I'm saying here in the Big Dome now. Hey, this is just the first year of discovery here in the UAAP. Really? I thought there was a championship already. <laughs> That's what I thought. That, you know, they got Casio because he can hit the three-point shot. And it's the first time I've seen him do it. And he gives him a five-point lead, a crucial time of the ballgame for USC. 
Vizcara cannot escape. The Spiritu is called for the offensive foul. You know, and the Tigers are crumbling. So they're just getting frustrated. Benitez is playing him smartly, trying to deny the passing lane for Alvin Espiritu. 5-43. and 43. What a time for LaSalle to get the momentum. And now the challenge for USC. They have to defend first well enough to try to free the double teaming of De La Salle. Jack Gakko will not shoot it from there. Benitez inside to Gakko. Gakko. He's two strong. Points. He is strong, partner. And the lead is seven. And the Tigers are in the dark right now. 524 remaining. We'll be back with more action here in the Big Dome. More action at the UAAP. Go for that big date with Selecta Cornetto, like UAAP's couple of the game. It's uh, Jai Reyes and Mariel Avellana. Jai is from Ateneo, and Mariel is from DLSU. I get a chance to win a new Volkswagen Beetle and other prizes with the Big Date Text to Win promo. The joint text, Big Date, and the goes in Cornetto Lids to 2 3 6 6. Back here in the ballgame. The archers are on a roll. Oh yes, and they force another turnover. LaSalle showing its teeth here in the second half. <laughs> perfect, perfect description. A 14 to 0 run by the archers, and USC has not scored a basket in the fourth quarter. And we are halfway through it already. That's gonna be a foul on Jake Gaffo. You know, it's funny, uh, Brandy, because most people will assume that it is the archers that will crumble come the fourth quarter looking at their lineup with rookies and sophomores. But right now, at this point, USC is groping for four. Oh, yes, USC, they were stunned. Hey, he's from Kansas City, and we know that. Yes, that's uh, Counselor Aiko Melendez. Rooting for, uh, well, there you go. <laughs> I need not say. Welcome to season 66. Under five minutes remaining. Luan Son thought about it. Steps back. 20 seconds. Lots of time for the Tigers. Espiritu from 17. Attacks. Sends it up and another offensive foul by Elwin Espiritu. And that is the fourth personal for Elwin. Well, he's getting frustrated. How many fouls has he committed here in the fourth? Three fouls committed here in the fourth period? You know, no, he's forcing the issue. He's not letting the play come to him. Four and 44. You know, Gapo, Benitez, and Casio. They've held their fourth here in the fourth period, and the Savior boys are <laughs> on duty for LaSalle. And the archers threatening to pull away. Gapo, in a very confident move. Did you see the face <laughs> of Jack Gapo? He had no other option in that play but to go for it, Randy. You know, tough situation for Christian Duwanson. Duwanson is a big guard, but look at Gapo. Look at the shake and look there. at the move. That was you were referring to, Boom, and we he saw that. It all. Yeah, we saw it earlier. You mentioned the tentativeness of Jack Gapo earlier in the ballgame. That was a very decisive move. Send it out to the point guard. Tang and Casio have been steady for the archers. Not to mention Gachalian, who's on the bench. Casio drives. Gapo fakes. Underneath! Hey! Up and under move by Jack Gapo. He's, he's no rookie with us, Lay, huh? <laughs> Just swept off in spiritual. That's going to be a foul on Bob Gapo. He made a shot, and he was the last line of defense. He ran back to defend on Christian Luanson. If you go back to that play by Jack Gapo, you again see the confidence. The up and under move, the fake, and then goes under. And the shot underneath, and more important, Randy, this is an 11-point lead for the archers with four minutes and three seconds remaining. And USD is looking for his first point here in, in the fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. It's a complete meltdown. Say that again. And the Watson will have to shoot from the line. That's the first point of the Tigers in this decisive fourth quarter. And where have the three-point bombs been? Where well, have they been? Not too many looks at the basket from the three-point country for USC. The Spiritu has had the offense of USC, and Gago is just destroying the front line of USC, holding a rebound for them. Gago's fifth rebound of the ball game, to be exact, Randy. Okay. 
Ramos and the Sharma sitting on the bench for La Salle. And Cardona. Things, Cardona and things, there. Are, things are going fine for La Salle. And this is a good sign for the Archers fans. And, you Without know, their three big and main men, they are holding off a USD team and bouncing on a 10-point lead right now. Those are the starters on your screen. And they can talk some sit down because the rookies are looking at those. And yo, you know, that three-point shot in the third and end of the third period sort of gave LaSalle the hope that things would be easier in the fourth period. If not for the three-point shot of Yo, I think hearts of the archers would have been broken a bit. But Joseph Yo, he keeps coming off the bench and it's in double digits, 80 markers, 18 for Joseph Yo. And they were all spread out, Randy. Yeah. It's gone. They, the points came in very crucial moments of the ball game. True. Espirito inside to Ubalde. Finally, a field goal for USC. Ubalde with 21 markers across his name. D.Y. Tang now. Speedy! And loses the ball. <laughs> May not be a good idea. They're ahead. Yep. But then again, you know, adrenaline is there. The uh -huh. crowd, the beats of the drum. You can't blame them. USD trying to come back. Three-point shot. And it has fallen. Luan Son. Short. One more time. And a foul is called. As Christian Luan Son single-handedly trying to get two points the hard way. You know, USC is trying to get the point as quick as possible. Yes. If they have an open look, they take it. Christian Luan Son really struggling to get the points in for USC. He was blocked and fouled from behind. More fresh legs now for the archers as Macadonna comes in. And uh, let's see whom he replaces. I think it's Joseph Casio. Now talk about fresh legs. I can't say the same for Alvin Espiritu. Exactly. You know, he has not rested the entire third quarter. Ubalde, even the one zone. You know, it's tough. You're playing against a team that, you know, that double team, that presses you end to win. Puts in fresh legs every now and then. The one son now with four points in the ball game, cutting the lead down to nine. Oh, but a lot of time, a lot of, a lot time, of time for USC. LaSalle can sit on their laurels at this point. Still a good three and thirteen remaining. And this will also be a test for the kids of uh, the archers at this time. Here we go. He fails that time for the kids. They need to make the mistake. Time was being asked here by Coach Transformare. Why true? By the four-time champion, Coach Grant Spumana, as he got a timeout at the 3.06 mark of this ballgame. You are hooked to dynamic hoop action. Back here at the Big Dome as we look at a Rexona defensive play here in the fourth quarter. Derek Obalde breaking up the play. And Dodon Villamin with the two points. Rexona, it won't let you down. Three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter and a six-point lead. For the Demasaw Green Archers, Boop Gonzalez, Professor Randy Santanas. It's great to have you with you. Uh, great to have you with us here on a Saturday evening. As an infraction is called on the Archers. Now, Randy, again, we will go back to that point. The rookies, the sophomores of De La Salle, at a crucial point, uh -huh. stretch of this fourth quarter, can they hold back another USC attack? <laughs> and here's a guy who is playing like a veteran. Got your answer there, the there you go. Bravo. That shot of Gakpo just made it an eight-point ballgame in favor of Luan Son crosses the midpoint line, and Gago has been playing like a man possessed here. A nice spin by Luan Son. Everything but the shot. A spin it to up, no, and a foul is called. Let's go to the free throw line. Alvin Espiritu. Lewis 17. Both teams in the penalty pool. And an eight-point lead for the Archers. Manny Ramos comes back in as Coach Franz Pumaren slowly getting his veterans uh -huh. in in that final, in the home stretch of this ballgame. You know, Espiritu, he's got to be consistent. Look at Gakko, if you can only see <laughs> how is hard good. he's breathing right now. Well, he's good as advertised to do it all. But certainly, it's his first game and his up against a tough Halloween spirit. Let's go to Rita Villamore of USC for this court side update. All right, guys, we're now in the fourth and final quarter of this game. The team is really hard in and up in winning this game. Players must have patience in the game. They have to know where to go, play fast, work harder on their defense, and to put pressure in the south. Back 
you, Boom and Randy. Thank you, Rita. Cardona, that's enough pressure. Hot back Cardona on that sequence. And you don't give him the right side. He loves that side. Don't put William in. And that tap has been working for the archers. Cardona against the Spiritu. A foul. He baited for it. He yeah. baited for it. Almost a three-point play, and Alvin Espiritu, that is his fifth personal, Randy. He is so frustrated in this ball game. He had his way, but here in the fourth, you know. I think he got tired, Randy. He might have been. Would have been, you know, when you're tired, you're running, you're being banged. Boy. That will tell towards the end of the game. 145 to play. We'll be back with more action here at the Big Dome. Come alive with this exciting UAAP. Another set of games. FEU Tamaraos, Adamson University Falcons debut tomorrow. And uh, the main game, the defending champions, uh, ADMU, Blue Eagles versus the highly talented University of the East Red Warriors. I think we're doing that game, no? Oh, yeah. And, you know, looking at the schedule, I don't think they serve appetizers here in the oh. UAAP. Main court is out there, first game. If that's the appetizers... I'll settle for them. <laughs> I won't take the main course anymore. I thought you were going to order right. <laughs>